some pins or uh, toothpicks, but you can do everything um, uh, with what was in your little kit. So, so don't worry about that if you don't have extra. So go ahead and take your uh, clay out of the bag and be sure to speak up if I'm going too fast. So we'll take it out, put it on your work surface here. And I'm just going to, uh, what's really cool about this uh, chunk of clay is we're going to actually be able to make two monsters out of this. We'll just make one for this class, but you'll have some leftover that if you just had so much fun and want to do some more, you can. So the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and grab your uh, little plastic knife that was included in your kit and go ahead and it just has, you know, just approximately go ahead and cut that chunk of clay in half. Uh, Hopefully the plastic knife doesn't, doesn't break. So once you get that separated, go ahead and plunk that other half back into your bag. And that can be fun for another time. Okay, so at this point, you can either uh, roll it into a ball or um, I'm just gonna form mine into another kind of square. So to start out, um, we want to cut this in half, but not exactly in half. We want it just uh, one, one piece to be bigger than the other. So I've kind of marked half, but then I'm going to go a little further over and go ahead and uh, separate that. This bigger chunk, that's going to be the body of your monster. Set that aside. And then with the piece you'll have left, Go ahead and cut that in half. You can just cut that as close to half as you can. So uh, one of those halves you can just set off to the side. So on these two pieces that you've got here, this is going to be the body, the main body of your monster, and this is going to end up being the head. So the next step is to take the bigger piece, and I want you to form a ball in it into a ball as close to a <laughs> uh, globe as you can. One way is to kind of roll it around in your hands. You could roll it on the surface. So it doesn't have, to, the cool thing about this monster making process, it, it isn't, doesn't have to be perfect. The more character your monster has, I think the better. So, all right. Once you got that uh, in a approximate ball shape, um, what I like to do is my non-dominant hand, I just plunk the ball in that. And then I take my thumb and we're gonna do, we're gonna press into the center of the ball of, of clay. And then I'm basically creating what I've heard ceramics art, artists talk about doing like a pinch pot. So we're gonna create a cavity inside and then have it be like a dome. So you can make it a little taller or fatter. Uh, when I do these, I'm making the walls of the monster about uh, three eighths, a little less than a half of an inch thick. You know, the thicker it is, it'll take a little more time to dry, but that's okay. You know, and as you squeeze and push on it, you'll see a little cracks form. <clears throat> you know, if you're really worried about that, you can actually dip your finger into some of your water and just run it across it to smooth it out. But once you get a approximate shape that you like, you're gonna take, uh, I suggested that you have some either foil or um, uh, paper towels on hand. And um, I found that I like to use paper towels. So what I like to do is uh, scrunch some up to about the size that will fit inside the cavity of the bigger piece. And this is just gonna help support it while it dries and then you can flip it back over. All right, so you've got the bigger one into a dome. Has everybody got that? Wave if you do. <laughs> okay, great, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with that smaller piece we had. We're gonna go ahead, roll it into a, another uh, circle, globe, whatever you wanna call it. And it's kind of lumpy there. Once you get it how you like it, it's the same thing. 
you're gonna just plunk it in one hand and go ahead and press in the middle. And this is gonna create the cavity of the mouth of your monster. So uh, on these, I made the walls a bit thinner. So you can um, just go ahead and form it into uh, what will be the uh, mouth of your monster. Again, if you get some cracks, you can leave them because that could just, you know, add character to your monster or I don't like the cracks. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, water on the tip of my finger and just run it around the perimeter there and that will be, do a nice smooth, you know, if it's a little wonky, that's it's good. It'll actually add character to your monster. So uh, once you get that, give me a, a, a little high five and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so Carol's done, how you doing, Marilee? Okay, so when you're joining uh, two pieces of clay, uh, I don't know what the term is, but you need to uh, rough up the surface. So one way you can do it is with the knife, uh, the fork that was included, um, it might, or you, this was also included, this wooden stick. So it's got a sharper point on one end. See if I can, so you can see that. I'm gonna use that. So I kind of figure out where I'm gonna join my head and the body. And so then I take, take this and I do kind of cross hatching, just kind of rough it up. And I'll, I'll show you what I have here once I do that. Let's see, you can see how it's just kind of roughed up there. That's what you want it to look like. So you do the same thing on the uh, bottom of the head where it's gonna attach to your body. Just do again some cross hatching, however, just make it rough. So then before you join those two surfaces, you're gonna want to uh, dip your finger in your water, dab some on the head there, dab some on the body, and then you apply some pressure um, when you join them together, kind of wiggle it around a little bit. This will help create uh, a better connection there. So, so far I got a big wide mouth monster here. <laughs> and then too, you can go back and do any little smoothing if you want to there. So if you got your, let me know with a little way when you've got your uh, head attached to your body, okay. All right, great. So, uh, so what I like to do at this point in time, I have suggested that, that if you have a, a plate to either put some like plastic wrap or um, uh, in this case, I happen to have some wax paper or a piece of foil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer my monster onto my plate. I have just found that as we're adding, uh, especially the feet, it's nice if it's already on the plate and ready to go there. So um, I'm gonna show off some of these little guys that I've already made, but uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about their mouth. So you can really add a lot of character to your monster by uh, the shape of the mouth. So this one is kind of a pointy smiley face. This guy here, he has more, you know, rounded ends to his face, but I like monsters that smile, as you can see, except for this guy, he's just kind of like, ah, looks like he's surprised. And then we have another one here that uh, I did a couple days ago. He's still drying. Um, so uh, go ahead and press down at the top of your monster's head, and then you can start, you know, uh, working with the shape of your monster's mouth. In my case, I wanna pinch it so that he looks like he's smiling. Um, so just uh, play with that a little bit. So you uh, get what you like. Do a little smooth in here with a little bit of water. But, okay. All right. So, okay. 
let me know when you've got your uh, mouth shaped the way you want to do it. All right. Okay, great. Okay, so now we're just going to set that side for a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and grab our other chunk of clay here. So just kind of either you can either roll it into a cylinder or in this case, I'm just going to kind of form it back into a block here. So what we want to do is cut this into four pieces. My page number two. Ah, okay. So I'm just going to try to make them similar in size. Uh, Cutting into four pieces. So however you want to do that. All right. Okay, so I've got four pieces total. What I'd like to do um, is then I'm going to actually take the two what looks like bigger pieces to me. And th those are the ones that I'm gonna cut in half again. So all together, we're gonna have six pieces of clay. So I'm just gonna take those, set them aside. And then I'm gonna go back to the two bigger pieces. So everybody get the uh, pieces all cut? Okay, great. So um, now we're gonna take the two biggest pieces and these are gonna be the arms of our monster. So uh, what's fun with the arms, you can really have a lot of fun um, creating different kind of gestures with them. So in this case, I have one up like he's uh, waving high. Uh, in this case, I've got two down. And in this one, I thought, well, shoot, I'm gonna put a little uh, <laughs> put a ball in his hand. So. When, I'm, when I paint it, uh, you'll be able to tell there's a ball there. Uh, but so in order to create the arms, uh, what we want to do is uh, actually make a cylinder this time instead of a ball. So we're going to, you can either roll it in your hands or on your surface so that you create um, a cylinder. So they're both about the same size. So I do one and then I grab the other one and um, work on creating it so it's similar to the other one. The cool thing, like I said, like I said earlier, you know, your monster's arms don't have to be perfectly the same. So that's one of the cool things about this process is that they can be, you know, a little different. So you've got your two little cylinders ready. Go ahead and let me know again. And uh, I'll, we'll talk about what's next. Okay. Okay, so uh, what I have found that I like to do uh, is we, on each end of the cylinder that we made, we're gonna flatten it out a little bit. So one end will be like its shoulder when we attach it to the monster. And the other one is gonna end up being its fingers. So I'm gonna just play with that a little bit. I got a little bit of wonky there. So I'm gonna smooth it a little. But just, so we got one kind of flattened out. You can see how it's fatter in the middle and uh, flatter on either end. So that's one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other one and do the same thing to that. And again, it's, you know. Okay, so if we have our two ready, let me know and I'll show you the next step. Okay. All right, so go ahead and grab uh, your knife again and that's included in your little kit here. And uh, I would suggest that you make your monsters have three fingers. So you just divide uh, one end of each, each arm uh, into three pieces by making two cuts. So if I make two cuts, I get three fingers. So I'm gonna do that on the other one. And then once you get the little slices in there, you can kind of pinch and smooth and form 
each finger. So just go ahead and play with it for a bit. This is where you can have a little bit of fun. All right, I'm gonna grab my other one here. So once you have your little fingers kind of smoothed and formed there, um, what I've found that I like doing uh, with mine is I have a, just a, a clip pin. So I make sure that the, the writing portion of it is retracted. And I have found that these make really good fingernail impressions. So I just like to uh, press on the top of each fingertip. And then uh, it's pretty cool. You can create some little fingernails by doing that. So I don't know what you have on hand. You could do it either with your uh, little wooden stick that we talked about earlier, make a little indentation if you want fingernails or you don't even have to make fingernails if you don't want to. So anyway, I'm gonna finish mine. Um, and so when you've got your little uh, arms and fingers fashioned, just, just let me know. All right, Marilee, thank you. Okay, all right, so um, this is kind of a fun part. You're gonna, um, on, so what I suggest you do is um, curve each one a little bit towards the palm of the hand of each arm. And so just play with, you know, how you want the arms. Do you want them both facing forward? Do you want one down? Um, you, you, and then two, you can kind of play with how far back they are behind the head. That'll kind of make a difference too. I tend to like to put them further back. Um, but uh, whatever you decide, it's gonna be like we did the head. In order to join them together, we're gonna go ahead and uh, use either the fork or the toothpick again and create a rough surface on the body, and then create a rough surface on the inside of the arm. Get them wet with a little water, and then we're gonna be joining them together. So go ahead and do that with each arm. Okay. Got my one, and then like with the head, when you join them together, you're gonna to wanna to kind of press and move it around a little bit so you get a good join. Okay, let's see here. Another one. Let's see, I'm getting it all roughed up. Oops. So the other, other arm, my other arm, I'm getting that rough area wet. Same thing on the body. And then I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, in there. All right, buddy. So on, on this part, you can play around a little bit. I'm going to highlight the, um, the back shoulder blades. I'm just gonna get my finger wet and just kind of smush them and uh, in an effort to kind of make a good connection in the back there. Um, so however you want to do that. And let's see, Oop. Monster. So if you end up uh, wanting to prop an arm up, one of the reasons that I suggested that you uh, have some foil on hand, and you can also do this with paper towel, is you can create a little, uh, let me turn around some more, uh, support out of foil. So it's, once you compress it, it's nice and rigid. So you can uh, basically make a little brace for your, your monster's arm if you want it to, to prop up a little bit. You can kind of see I've got his arm up. Let's see, how much do I want to do the other one? I think the other one I'm gonna just kind of, I think I'll wrap it around kind of his belly there. And then 
what's part of the fun too if you want to animate the fingers a little bit now would be a good time to just kind of bend them or change the shape a little bit whatever you like so it's uh yeah this guy's kind of giving a thumbs up there yeah okay so have fun with those arms take your time no hurry I'll speed in here. Okay. So take your time and then just let me know when you're uh, ready to move on to the feet. Okay, thanks, Carol. All right, thanks, Marilee. Okay, so now um, go ahead and take two of the four remaining um, uh, chunks of clay that you have. And with these, we're gonna go ahead and make uh, the feet. So like on this little guy over here, like in the sample. So go ahead and uh, uh, roll each of these into balls, two of the four there. All right. So um, once you get them into balls, you can uh, kind of place them there and decide, you know, where you want the feet. And this is going to be, um, I think the last time I did it, I found that if I just kind of flatten sort of created a flat surface on, on one side of the ball. This is the side that I'm gonna to attach to my monster. So I'm gonna do the same thing with that one, just press it a little bit to create a more of a flat surface. Yeah, so the, and the reason I, I'm doing that is the, the more uh, contact surface there is, uh, the <laughs> more likely it is to get a connection. So once you kind of think where you want them, go ahead and grab your fork or wooden dowel and do the same thing like we did the head and arms. Go ahead and scratch each surface, uh, get it wet, and uh, join them together. There, on his body. Get on there. With the other foot. Okay. Okay, I'm joining my other uh, little foot here, getting you super sweat after I roughed it up. Okay, we'll get a little uh, wiggle there. Um, I don't know if you folks have opened your uh, paint set yet, but one thing I like to do to just help make sure the connection is good is uh, dip my uh, uh, paintbrush in water and I uh, just kind of go around the joint to help just make sure it's a good connection there. So once the feet are on there, you can kind of, um, form it. In this case, I'm just going to take the tip of a finger and kind of just press down, creating a little divot for the top of this monster's foot, each monster's foot. I've got my two little feet there and like I did with my fingernails, I like to use my pen to uh, go ahead and create some little toenails. In this case, I'm going to make three on each foot. I'm all done here. So if you look close there, there's my little feet, my little toenails there. 
see, I've got a little finger that's cracking here. I think I'm gonna use my paintbrush to see if I can kind of, maybe it's gonna break here. Okay. So, yeah, just uh, let me know when you've uh, got your feet all squared away. I'm going to do the same thing I did around his uh, feet, around his head. Working on creating that connection there. Okay, thanks, Carol. All right, Mary Lee, you all done with his feet? Okay, well, uh, all right, super. Okay, so now we got two, two chunks of clay left. So uh, with one of these pieces, uh, let's uh, divide it in half. And we're gonna use it for the eyes or an eye. <laughs> so I was playing around with my monsters. You can really uh, change the character by you know how close or how far apart the eyes of your monster are. So that had a little separation. This one, they're uh, close together. And then I thought, well, what the hey, I'm gonna do this monster and make him a Cyclops. So he just has one eyeball. So you decide uh, how you wanna do that. I think in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and make two eyes, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and roll them into balls. Oh, I forgot the size of the marble. And if they're a little bit different uh, size and it bothers you, you can take some of the clay off, but uh, it can add actually character to your monster too. So, you know, if I were to put mine far apart, it kind of looks like a frog. I can move them closer together. Um, so anyway, go ahead and play with where you want them. If you do put them uh, close together, do we have a question? Uh, be sure to, um, you know, scratch it and join it first here, and then you can put them on your monster. So um, I think I'm just going to put them a little distance apart. So have some fun with that, and I'll do my monster while you do yours as well. Okay. Um, I have found that when I'm putting on the eyes to, to put a finger inside its mouth, you just kind of help support that so it doesn't collapse as you're uh, attaching each eye. Attach my other eye here. Okay. What's that going on with my other screen? Oh, well. Okay, touch my other. Oops, I need to do a cross hatch in this head. I forgot to do that. Add in some water, exporting it underneath when I attach the other eye. Okay, so I've got my eyes on, you know, if you like, I think in this case, I'm going to take the um, wooden dowel uh, that I had included in the kit and use it to uh, kind of make a pupil. I think one end I'm going to press in and there, I think, yeah, I use the bigger end there. So I like that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. 
trying to close the damn computer go away. Oh well. Okay. So uh, how's the eyeballs looking? Isn't it fun to see how they uh <laughs> Add character to your monster. So now we have some uh, some clay left. So this is a uh, where we can decide uh, whether a monster has a tongue uh, or horns or maybe a tail. So uh, I'm personally uh, love putting tongues in my monsters. <clears throat> so uh, as you can see, again, I'll show these guys. You know, this guy has more of a rounded tongue. There you go for the more pointed. Uh, you can use the uh, the pen, uh, wooden dowel that was included in your uh, little kit to you know create a crease down the middle of the tongue if you want. So anyway, decide whether you want tongue. Uh, if you want, like this guy, you can go ahead and add some teeth. Um, so anyway, take some time, have some fun with that. And I'm going to go ahead and work on mine. I'm going to start with a tongue for me. Come on, I'm kind of forming a little ball and then I'm just using my hands to squish and manipulate it how I think I want it. So tongues tend to be uh, skinnier. Don't have to be too fat. They can be if you want. It could be rounded on the end or uh, more pointed. And again, when you put it in your monster's mouth, uh, you're going to do the scratch again on both surfaces. So just uh, play with the position if you decided with the tongue, play with the position if you decide to uh, do horns. So let's see. Um, what do I want to do? I think I might make some funny looking ears or something for mine. So first I'm going to attach that tongue I made. Let's see. Okay. Go ahead and scratch on the surface of my tongue. Okay, so this going over here. Putting my finger to get. Um, and let me just put that little guy in there and then just use one of your fingers to. Squish it in there. Oops. I'm gonna kind of make the mouth a little bit more. And put a little curve on that guy. I think I'm gonna add a tooth. So decide whether you want a tooth. Let's see. In this case, I wish I could get rid of that. Keep the thing. Okay. So if your your tooth is fatter, that's probably a good thing because you'll have more uh, surface area for it to stick in your monster's mouth. I'm doing this here, creating a rough surface on the two areas I want to put together. Always use a little water on each surface. Let's see here. A little more tricky. Come on. Okay. Make sure to make my tooth pointy. Well, it's kind of stubborn. I'm not much of a dentist. <laughs> Oops. Okay. It's kind of funny. I don't like that. He's having an extraction. <laughs> okay. I didn't like that. I think I need to put it up at top. So let me try it on the top. Let's 
So yeah, just take your time, have fun with it. This is where you really add the character of your monster. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, this is a kind of an imprecise art, which is what I like about it. <laughs> and so uh, you really don't know what you got, so it's all done. Okay, he's gonna have like a little buck tooth there. <laughs> um, as I'm working on his kind of face here, uh, one thing you can do too, if you like, is if you want to make um, like no nostrils for your, your monster. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna use my, the pointy tip of my wooden dowel and just make a couple uh, little indentations where maybe his nose is there. It happens to be above his little snaggle tooth. Use that to smooth that a little bit. And let's see, I'm gonna play around with some ears. I don't know what you guys have got, but see if I can maybe do a couple pointy ears for this guy. Yeah, that's gonna add some character there. I like that. Okay. So I'm anxious to, when we're done here, to be able to see everybody's monsters. That's part of the fun. They each have their own little character. And of course, when you're, you know, all done, you're gonna have to name your monster. Okay, okay. I kind of like that his ears are kind of wonky. So I'm gonna go ahead and join them. And you know, I've had, have had after the fact, uh, something fall off a monster, but that's fine because you can glue them back on. <laughs> so don't worry if that happens or not. Uh, I'm gonna use my wet paintbrush to smooth around his ear here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attach his other ear that I'm putting on him. Yeah, for me, this is the fun part. Okay, some character. Dabbing that, gonna dab on the back of his head here. Squishing it together. There we go. <laughs> So hopefully your monster makes you laugh like it does me. It's like, okay. <laughs> Let's see. I really wish I had something up at my screen in the way. Let's see if I can move that out of the way. Oh, okay. So, I don't know how far you each are, but uh, here's how my little guy is. Uh, you know, and I actually have a little piece of clay left and I think I'm gonna turn him around and maybe uh, make him have a funny little tail, why not? I don't wanna make this good little bit of clay go to waste here. So I think I'll just make him a funny little tail, a little pointy tail. Let's see here. Join them together. Okay. <laughs> so we got a funny little uh, pointy tail there. Here's my little guy. So if you get a chance, hold up your little monster when you get their no eyes and uh, whatever attached to them. Here. So now if, yeah, if you want to, um, I took the spotlight off of you. So now if anyone unmutes when they show their monster, then their screen will become the main screen. Okay, great. Hi, Carolyn. 
Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Carrie, hi there. Oh, yeah. Look you there. <laughs> I made a little Very cute. <laughs> what about you, Carol? Okay. Um, he's mostly foil at the moment, but <laughs> nice. A yeah, and you've already got some uh, texture on yours. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah, the next the next part now that we've got you know all the pieces on our guy is to decide if we want to add uh, some texture. So, in this case, this guy is kind of looks like he's got the chicken pox. He's got little polka dots on there. Um, this is just a series of round circles. This guy, I did round circles and then poke, poked a little belly button in each one. So uh, now's the time to just play with texture for your monsters. So you can either use the uh, tip of the straw that was included in your uh, little kit. Um, it's just a matter of kind of pressing it. Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm just gonna make a series of uh, little circles with my straw. It actually works kind of good. You can get in smaller spaces with it. Fun. So yeah, just put as many uh, little extra textures on your monster. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. It has like uh, more character there. His arms. Let's see. We'll go ahead and put some on the back of his head here. Yeah, however you want to do it. it makes it fun. Okay. So it's going to take probably uh, four or five days for your monster to dry. So you can see the the different color of these two. So this is the one that I just made. This is the one that's good and dry. And so um, um, what I'd like to do um, while you do do some finishing touches on your monsters if you like to, is kind of show you one possible uh, technique on how to paint your monsters. So I'm going to set this guy aside. And uh, I had a class. I went uh, ahead and um, did a base paint of black all over the monster. So you, uh, I suggest if you, you know, want to try this technique that you just pick out one of your darker colors, you know, out of your little paint set. It looks like you have like a dark blue. There's a black. Um, I suppose you could try purple. That might be kind of fun. But anyway, uh, you can paint your monster any way you want. I, uh, for the sake of the class, I'm just going to show you one possible technique. So I've, I've got my uh, base coat of paint on there. So now I, I get to decide, oh, gee, what color do I want to paint my monster? So I was thinking on this one to do orange. So uh, I happen to have lots of bigger paints, but if, if you know, if you just have this kit, it's just a matter of uh, popping open uh, each little tub there. Your kit comes with uh, two paint brushes. So, um, uh, you know, to be able to, if you have, you know, little crevices, it's, you know, the little paint brush is probably a way to get like inside of the mouth. You can use the bigger one to do the bigger surface. Um, but so, so going back to my uh, base paint of black, I'm going to just use my orange paint just, just because I have it. But you have your little set there, so you can use whichever ones you want. Um, so this is kind of a, you know, um, what I'm going to do is take the, what the little uh, flat brush that was included in the kit, load it up with some paint. And my goal is not to paint in every little, um, you know, uh, texture spot that I have. So all that, all you need to do is just kind of run the brush across the surface of it. 
without you know pressing into the holes. So I'm just going to go and anything that I want orange with the black showing through. I'm just going to go ahead and paint that. So, you know, he's got toenails in this guy's case. So once I just do some light brushing on it, his toenails are still going to show. So that's kind of fun. So yeah, the uh, when you get the chance to paint your monster, that's when you really get to add some character. I'm gonna leave, in this case, I'm gonna leave the inside of the mouth black, kind of like this guy over here. So you just, uh, I'm just kind of doing uh, around the mouth. I'm gonna try to not get the tongue because I'm gonna probably do that in a different color. And yeah, so just go around my monster. And again, you know, if I don't put too much paint on it, I can see the relief of the fingernails on my monster. Oh, and then I forgot too, it's actually a good idea to pick it up and start with the bottom first. <laughs> In this case, yeah, especially when you're doing the black, go ahead and pick it up so that you can get around the bottom, under the arms, uh, inside the mouth, and then um, you can plunk them down on your plate and then get the rest of the surfaces, uh, you know, both with the undercoat um, and the top coat. Let's see. All right. Back of his arm here. Let's see. Back of his head. I'm going to do a different color on his horns, so I'll try not to get too much orange on this. But it's, uh, you know, this is just a kind of a light touch. It, uh, you know, if you want to take your time and do some really cool detail, that's totally appropriate for your monster. Uh, totally up to you. This is just kind of a... And again, like I said, uh, the more character your monster has, it's actually the better. So it's kind of hard to get between his eyeballs there. Okay, so uh, is, all right, I'm gonna wash that out. So yeah, if you you know use your paintbrush and you change colors, be sure to clean out your brush so you can use it another time. Um, Okay, so I got that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to this little paint set and let's see orange. I think I'll do a yellow dung to go with the orange. See how that looks. Oh, it's nice and thick. That's nice. So I'm going to take add some orange to my monsters or yellow to my monsters tongue. Okay. And I think I'll use the same for his horns. You know, and the cool thing about paint, if you don't like it, <laughs> you can paint it over. It's funny, this orange is, the, you know, over the black, it's looking, this yellow is looking kind of green. Anyway. And. Okay, so I have found that uh, for the monster's eye, what I like to do is, that one works pretty good. Oh, this is pretty thick. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the surface of my plate to play with a little bit. But anyway, you know, I can run it around the, where the little pupil is. a little um, transparent this paint. Oop, got some more on there. <laughs> um, in your little kit was included a uh, sponge. So the sponge is uh, for um, adding some uh, 
more texture. So let's see. So I'm going to just use, use it dry. In this case, if I was using these paints, I'd probably put them on a little plate um, to create kind of sort of a little puddle. But I think what I'm going to do is I've got some paint loaded on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some to this monster. So we're just going to, so you can kind of just dab. <laughs> this guy's got lips now. And if I wanted to, I'm going to need to move them over here so I don't get uh, paint on my tape cloth. I could, you know, dab some on his feet, you know, a little on his belly if I wanted. So this is just one way to just add, uh, you know, some more detail. Kind of like eyebrows up there. Kind of like that. So. So congratulations, everyone. You have uh, created a monster. So you've got uh, another chunk of clay that you'll be able to um, create another one. So uh, thank you for joining us today. It's been really fun. And I uh, look uh, forward to the, those of you I know seeing your finished monsters. <laughs>